in three, two, one, crescendo. Upper bracket round four, match number 11. We got Alliance one in red, Alliance two in blue. Some high performing robots here on this field. Let's see how it all shakes out. Alliance number one will take the lead, 51 to 31, moving into tele-operated period. 176 beginning to feed over to 3,005, the Robo Chargers. 51-12, the Gongoliers. Trying to stop the feeding from the Red Alliance, 1577, Steampunk. Servicing notes over to 987, Red Alliance activates an amplification cycle. A healthy dosage of notes for 987 to clean up. They go back to the amp, bringing up one and looking for a second one as well. Another amplification cycle ready for the Red Alliance. Maximizing their uptime as much as possible. Volley's up one, two, and looking for a three and a four. That'll put the Red Alliance in a commanding lead. Let's check up on the Blue Alliance. They activate an amplification cycle of their own. 176, aces high. Looking to try and score some notes up into the speaker. They service the amp instead. 2056, OP Robotics. Stewards of the Red Alliance making sure 987 is well fed. Procuring additional notes, volleying them up for the Red Alliance after an amplification, putting Alliance 1 in a commanding lead, 112 to 70. But what's this? Blue Alliance activates a cycle, trying to utilize their uptime effectively, and 3,005 will do so, closing this gap 113 to 86. Time ticks 30 seconds left, 1577. Steampunk working up with high rollers. <laughs> to score some value added notes up into the speaker. 15 seconds on the clock. Let's see if the Blue Alliance can retake a lead. 10 seconds left. High notes coming from our human players. 1577 Steampunk trying to stop Blue Alliance in their tracks. 176 finds themselves suspended as does 3005. Well, that will do it for match number 11 here in round four. They score 143 to 118. Alliance number one will secure their spot into the finals. Alliance two will advance to the lower bracket. They'll be playing next in round five, match number 13, to face whoever.